guys, I hope you're all well and had a very Merry Christmas despite the current circumstances. I actually, on the scale of things, did have a very nice day. Obviously, I've spoken previously about my anxieties around Christmas um, and yes, there were a few on Christmas Day as they're always going to be, but I used my um, positivity and my thankfulness to get through that. So every time I had a little wobble, um, I just thanked myself that I was even able to see my family on Christmas Day and that we did have nice things to eat and that we were happy and healthy, um, etc. And so with mentions to my positivity sort of notes in my brain, I'm going to move on to what I wanted to talk to you guys about today, which is New Year's resolutions. I don't normally set New Year's resolutions because I think that if you want to change something bad enough, you don't need the excuse of a new year to do it. Um, and also I think that sometimes they can be a little bit far-fetched in terms of um, feasibility. However, this year, I think because I've had more time in the lead up to Christmas to actually think about how, how I'm feeling. I've noticed that a few things in my life need to change and I'm starting to imp implement them now, but I'm going to use them as New Year's resolutions because these resolutions I intend to stick with for the rest of the year and further on because my life in some ways has become a little bit unhealthy. I've realized that I need to be nice to myself a bit more. So that's going to be my New Year's resolution, is to be nicer to myself. And it's going to have a few different um, strings to its bow, as it were. So I have realised since I've come home from uni that I am a workaholic. I had a nice amount of uni work to do over the next month or so, and I realised that I was getting stressed about the fact that I hadn't done all of it in the first week I was doing a ridiculous amount of hours unnecessarily because I had felt like I had to manically cram it in because if it wasn't done first then it wasn't going to get done but actually it will and equally I've learned that I need to take a break every so often like I seem to have this inability to give myself a rest and to let myself have some downtime. And if I'm constantly running around on 100%, at some point the Duracell battery is going to run out and I need to recharge. And this needs to be something that's done regularly so that I can put more energy into good things and to enjoy life more. Um, I've realized that you know, it's not a bad thing to have lie in every so often and that's something that I need to do and equally I need to not punish myself if I don't do everything perfectly. I have become so obsessed with having my life perfect but it's never going to be perfect and so therefore I need to stop stressing about that and so I am going to have a few things uh, that will be 100% implemented at the beginning of the year, which is I'm going to have one day a week where I don't do any exercise, I don't ride my horse, and I have a lion. And if I've got time, I'm not even gonna do any uni work. I need to have a day where I breathe and I recharge. So there's going to be once a week a lion, if possible, no work for a day, once a week, no exercise, and once a week, just go and see my horse and appreciate it so that I actually have time to enjoy things. Equally, I'm going to make sure that I'm not so stressed about being perfect. So I'm going to allow myself a little bit of downtime, allow myself that extra drink if I want it, that extra bit of food, and not get so stressed about it. I mean, the only analogy that I can put it into play for myself is because I'm obsessed with horses, is my horse. I do not expect my horse to perform every single day at 100%. If he comes home from a competition, no matter what he's done, he gets a day off. He, if he trains through the week three times well, he gets the rest of the week to hack and be a horse. He goes out in the field and has fun. He has food no matter what he's done, whether he's done some exercise or not. I need to treat myself as a competition horse and be nice to myself. So my New Year's resolution is to be nice to myself. Let me know what yours are and equally if you want to chat to me about how I'm getting on with my New Year's resolutions, then please feel free to get in contact. And I will catch you soon. Have a very happy New Year.